Hey guys, so today we are going to be decorating this coastal house with rooms of different budgets. As you can see, it is already completely built. I picked this house up from Pinterest. It's not exactly the same because I decided halfway through that I did kind of want to make this a coastal house. Also, if you will notice, this is totally crooked. The worst thing to do is these things. So I'm just going to leave it, ignore it, pretend like it's not there. This is the layout that the pin, if you will, gave me. This is the entryway. I don't think I'm going to make it a budget just because it's like, so small we have an office space right here so this is going to get its own budget and then to the left here we have the formal dining room i really hope this one isn't too crazy because it's just a dining room but we will see and then right here we have the living room it's super open concept i don't know if it's going to be too big i was kind of trying to go as close to the floor plan as possible so we're gonna have to see about that and then right here we have the guest bedroom and then in here we have the bathroom and then it has its own door to the outside but these are also double doors to the outside so going back here we have the little hallway that goes into the master bedroom it's not very big also there is supposed to be a door that goes to the bathroom right here apparently i forgot it my bad and then in here we have the garage which is absolutely massive i have never made a garage this big so also hope the budget here is fat but then then we skipped the laundry room that's just right here it's super super tiny so really gotta hope it does us good and then in here i think i forgot to say but this is the kitchen and then there is a breakfast nook over there so this is the overview of the entire house i know from the outside it looks like it's two-story but it's not the roof is totally fake so i think let's go ahead and start right here in the office space let's see what our budget is so it's gonna be anywhere from one dollar which means absolutely no furniture or fifty thousand dollars so let's see this is the office space wait what if this isn't our biggest budget i do not know what is okay so as you can see we are back into build mode and we have forty nine thousand five hundred and forty one as our budget we are off to a great start guys the best thing that we can do here is honestly use a bunch of basic shapes i definitely want to put a good carpet in here so i'm going to set that aside this is something that we have to set last because we need to put our desk and things on top of it I cannot believe I'm starting off with almost $50,000. Okay, so I have this desk in mind that I absolutely love. And I think the best thing that we can honestly do is to make basic shape furniture if we have this big of a budget. So I'm going to start off. Those are like way too far apart. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this correctly. I hate working in such small spaces because the door is just so annoying. Is that way too tall? Wait, how tall are the chairs? Oh, wait, I think it's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and add these little side thingies here. Okay, I just had to buy the color wheel because I totally forgot that I didn't have it. I feel like that's a nice coastal color. None of these are necessarily super coastally vibe. This kind of just looks ridiculous. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Okay, for now, I think let's just use the most expensive floor lamp because that looks nice, right? Or maybe let's do it on the other side. Like, I think that's a vibe, right? We have $45,000, guys. I think we got to do the elegant fireplace. I have to decide if I want to go with gold or silver tones. I've gone back and forth so many times, and I feel like I just have to use gold. We do need to do some sort of built-in situation, like that and then right here we're gonna do built-ins on the side wait that's totally not even but i'm totally not gonna do anything about it now i can do this to the other side so it's perfectly even it's not even <laughs> since we have so much of a budget let's do custom curtains i actually uploaded a couple of coastal decals i think i did something wrong i accidentally put the stool instead of the normal chair so let's go ahead and add some wainscoting here so what i'm gonna do is just look up the color white and then find the first one that's all white which normally there's one yeah there we go so now we're gonna go in with the structural things just like that and now you've got yourself some expensive wall trim let's add a real computer which i don't do very often since we have twenty six thousand dollars, i'm gonna go ahead and use this because it's really similar to the style of desk that we went with and then we definitely need some decor pieces all over the place so i'm gonna need a bunch of transparent decals which everyone knows are so expensive okay i know those have books in it but please ignore it i really love that plant i'm gonna go ahead and fill in these bookcases right here and then i will be right back with the finished room okay guys you will not believe that the office ended with 
one dollar that's probably the closest i will ever get however i did want to make this plant a little bit bigger but i literally did not have the budget to do it so i couldn't here's a quick little overview of the room and let's get on into the next one so obviously right here we have the dining room so let's go see what our budget is going to be we still have our number generator right here let's go ahead and see how much the dining room is going to cost okay sixteen thousand seven hundred and seventy honestly that's not awful let's see what we can do definitely gonna need a carpet like that again also something that i realized i accidentally used the transparent decal for the carpet but like you absolutely do not need that like all you need is a regular one and we're gonna just use this big one and that is so much cheaper which we will need for this one just like that let's see what table do we want so we have fifteen thousand dollars these are massive but i think this one is really pretty ignore this for whatever reason my arches keep doing this that didn't use that much but i think it makes it look really nice we definitely want to keep some repetition going on here maybe let's use this wallpaper as well oh it's clipping can you change the sizing of these honestly we'll actually save money if i just since i don't actually have anything on the ceiling i think this will just be be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use this chair right here. Like I kind of like the look when you use a bench. I feel like I used to do that all the time. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go for it. I also feel like it'll be cheaper. I can't believe I'm already at $6,000. Wait, I need some placemats. I'm thinking circular. Ugh, that's annoying. I can't do it on the grid. Okay, and then we're gonna add plates on top. Sure, you could have guessed that. What else? I definitely need to do some of the napkin roll things. Plant in the corner. It's lacking terribly all right so now we only have eighteen hundred dollars left i have no idea what to do should we put things on the walls they're just gonna be twins <laughs> Okay, so now we only have $171. Let's see if I can do anything else with it. No way am I ending with $1 again. That is actually bizarre. Okay, the issue is though, I can't color it. <laughs> Guys, that's so frustrating, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. I have to leave it. So that is the dining room. I guess now the best room to do would be the living room. All right, we got it open. This was our last one. Let's see how much we can spend on the living room. 35,426. This is actually giving me like really normal numbers and I'm super happy about it. I feel like we have to start with a rug again just because I always know that I want this to be in the budget. So I'm thinking I kind of want to stop using so much white as the base. Like you see how I did white built-ins in here? I kind of want to try to use blue. Like I want something with a little bit of gray in it like that. I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Let me see how the hallway looks. I might have to add a little bit of an entry table right there. Okay, so what I was thinking here, instead of making shelving, I was gonna use structures. I'm not totally sure how I feel about this, but let me just finish and see if it ends up looking better. I'm thinking the traditional sofa looks cozy for here. I don't really know. Should I do a barrel on the end or is that kind of like cliche? Do we have to do blue? I feel like we have to do blue. So I have this little drawer front decal. I want to put it on a table back here. Oh, okay. My game for- oh wait, I disconnected. Oh no. <laughs> Why does my outfit look like that? Well, that's a later issue. Okay, we should have the exact same budget as I ended off with. I don't know. That might not be the cutest thing in the world. So now I definitely want some more transparent decals. I'm going to put that right there. Also one right here. Okay, and then right here, I definitely need a little lamp or something. Let's see what the most expensive one is. Oh, uh-oh. I messed up. I messed up. I want to be able to see the bottom of this table. So I think what we have to do is put it on top of a basic shape. Oh no, it doesn't work. We're gonna do that. Okay, perfect. Wait, it actually really worked. I filled in a couple of these decals and I think it's looking really nice. Oh, wait, I love this. I don't know, like this is kind of nice. I do think I need a table right here though. Okay, I definitely want a floor plan. <laughs> a floor plan? That is so not what I meant to say. I need a floor plant. I think I'm just gonna steal that one because I like it. And then let's move it into place. When in doubt, put a little pyramid. <laughs> I did not think I'd have to be using so many decals and custom things. Like I genuinely thought that I wouldn't have money for any of these. $5,000, that's actually a lot. I genuinely don't know what to add. I don't know what to add. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll through and see if anything sticks out to me. I'm really scared for my kitchen, guys. Like I hope I 
get a good budget. Like, I feel like my good luck is gonna run out and it's gonna get, it's gonna get really bad. And you guys have seen so far, like, I haven't cheated. I've been keeping the same values. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll just do some wall trim up here. Okay, I still have $1,000. If I add one more transparent thing, it'll be good. I'm gonna make it as small as I possibly can, and then that's gonna be our total. <gasps> no way. Zero dollars? Amazing. Now, I'm gonna go change some of these decals, and then we'll be done. The next room is going to be the kitchen. I think the house is turning out so cute so far, so I'm really excited. All right, back to the random number generator. This is what we're gonna have for the kitchen. Okay, 38,211, honestly, that's perfect. I'm surprised it hasn't been going down anymore. I keep spending a lot of money. Let's get going. Um, You're gonna have to ignore this again. It just keeps happening. I don't know why sometimes it's blue and sometimes it's orange. I don't know where the orange came from. Before I do anything, I'm actually gonna place the appliances because I don't know how much that genuinely costs. Awesome. kind of just want to get the basics down okay honestly those are the two main appliances so i guess it doesn't really matter let's go into the cabinets this looks like it's gonna be a little bit tight is that an awkward shape i don't know but i kind of have to go with it so i don't have a choice should we use the short ones because then we can put like things on top now the hardest thing do i want to keep going with this color i hate using the same kind of wood tones over and over again but i kind of feel like i have to now this is all just like the bone of the kitchen. I don't know why that was there, so I just deleted that. But I think we have a really good base. Uh-oh, I do have an issue with that. Okay, I'm honestly just gonna leave it. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out when I get there. Ooh, I actually really like this for the little breakfast nook over here. It is incredible incredibly bright we do need a little table over here i'm gonna do a round one and a floor plant over here it's really annoying that it has the sliding door thing but there's not really anything i can do about it so we're gonna pretend like you don't see that okay i also found this i saw a white one too i can't remember the name i think it's Equinox? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think this is also from their inventory and I love this. I think it's so fun. I definitely need a kitchen sink. So let's do that. I feel like this could be cute if I made it wicker. I think I have all the basics down. So now let's go into decorations. I'm gonna go ahead and just add all of the basic kitchen things. And honestly, I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay, so unfortunately, I did not get as close as I did with the other ones, but I did end with $3, which I think is good enough. I think it turned out cute. Also, I put a random frog right here. Just ignore that. So now we are going to move on into the master bedroom. So this is what we had for the kitchen. Now, the catch is this is also a going to include the bathroom so let's really hope it gives us a good number that's not in the 30,000s because I'm so bored of that 18,055 that's gonna be kind of rough guys I literally just spent I mean I, I didn't spend that long so I didn't have that big of a budget but I spent the last like 15 minutes recording and I was accidentally recording the number generator screen so I didn't catch any of this but I have $12 left and this is what I was able to do nothing too crazy and I did splurge on the tub here I don't know why there wasn't really a reason for it but I did and then we also have a closet so you'll see this whole thing in the final tour but the next thing that we're gonna do is the garage plus the laundry room as everyone probably knows i never decorate my garages so we are gonna see if they're gonna let us this time all right guys we are back in the random number generator let's see for the garage oh my gosh all right guess i'm not really doing a garage Okay, so I'm not even really sure what I can do with that much money. Maybe the first thing that we'll do is cover up here. I said I was going to do it originally, so I might as well get it done. I have a wall now. Now I have $2,640. Okay, I can get this. Perfect. We definitely want a counter. And then I'm thinking some cabinets will do. I really feel like this will be worth it to put in here. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's do a folded towel. Can we get any vehicles with $500? dollars no okay cool good to know maybe this will be the exercise corner just in the darkness the cinder block could go out there <laughs> honestly i'm just gonna put some tissues because i'm sad that i can't put anything else in there and now we have four dollars and let's move on to the next one it's fine it's okay all right for the last time what is our budget what? No way. Wait, I'm actually upset. I like doing bedrooms. I didn't even get a chance to do the other one. All right, so unfortunately, the entire guest bedroom only gets $2,000. Um, okay. So let's do the cheapest normal bed, which is 
this one. Okay, we're gonna add lamps once again. I think I'm gonna use these ones that I put over here. Oh wait, no, those are more expensive, aren't they? Aha, I need these ones. And then of course, to save money, we're gonna color it beforehand. We're not even gonna change the color of the lighting because we don't, we don't got the money for that. We need a dresser, but I don't really know that I can afford it, but I'm gonna put it anyway. Okay, we do need the bathroom. I don't know if this is more expensive, but I'm going to put that. <laughs> instead of a normal shower i don't know i have no idea if that was cheaper don't tell me if it was or not all right and now we gotta put a toilet right here i'm thinking and then let's put the countertops right here oh my gosh please tell me i can get one more counter and then let's see if i can do any mirrors i don't know if i can wait perfect 241 dollars left i'm gonna put a pair of slippers right there okay i'm sorry this lighting is way too yellow i am gonna change it even though that's gonna cost me some money but i i think it makes a big difference there's there's not much i can do i need something on the wall i can i can oh no i can't afford that honestly i think this room deserves another pair of tissues pair of tissues did i really just say that you know what i meant maybe a dirt pile for fun <laughs> All right, guys, the house is completely done. I know you, for the most part, like saw everything, but I do just want to give you a quick overview so you can see exactly what we did. I really love how the first few rooms turned out. Obviously, the end went a little bit downhill, but these look so cute. So this is the office space right here. I think this is my favorite room out of the entire place. I love this desk, and I think it just looks so good. Everything in here is just so bright and open. I love the seashells. I love the decals. I don't think I've ever used this telescope before, but I think it it works in this build so so well yeah this is the whole office and then if you go right across this is the dining room we didn't get to change the color of the wheel which is really frustrating but it's okay there's not much going on here because we didn't have a budget i would have added like cups and like things just to make the table look more full and then here is the living room i love the color scheme i feel like i haven't done anything coastal like this definitely not with the new updates i don't do beach houses really often but i definitely want to try doing more. I love how these built-ins look. I love the color that I ended up using. You'll also notice that I forgot to use two-sided decals for some of these things, so if you see it from one direction, you'll see the plant but not from the other. That was just a lapse in judgment. My bad. Let's go on over into the guest bedroom. This was the worst budget, I think, out of all of them, and that's saying something because the garage is awful. We just have our tissue box. It's so, so, so empty. Honestly, the bathroom could be worse. That, um, I just had extra money don't just ignore that i didn't end up doing a budget for the backyard this house took me so 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 long i was not planning on spending so much time but the budgets that i got were just so good and i like i was having fun so this is the table that we created i really love these drawer fronts the leg situation looks kind of funny but i think it looks really cute so then moving on into the kitchen this is what we have i love how the top of it turned out i was really like unsure about using the short cabinets but i think it turned out so cute i love the sign the plates everything just looks so nice and yeah the kitchen not much going on here and then in here we have the little breakfast nook again love how this looks and it wasn't super expensive so that's nice we have the master bedroom which um is also bare i'm so upset that i didn't get to make any good bedrooms like these are both so empty this is at least better than the other one same with the bathroom i used the expensive tub and then this is the closet space these are the other two really 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 bad rooms this is all we were able to do with the laundry room again tissue box for our tears and then this is the garage i <laughs> it's so bad it's so 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 bad this is the little cinder block and then our exercise corner and that is all that we had the budget for so the total this house ended up being with the exterior which obviously wasn't a budget but i spent two hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars on this build let me know if you think i should build a coastal house um on my own free will <laughs> i really loved doing this style so so let me know and subscribe like this video if you have not already all of my social medias are in the description if you want to give those a follow and i will see you guys in the next one